All right, so Rayshard Brooks was the kid in Atlanta who was killed on Saturday night in a Wendy's parking lot. By the way, that's how you're going out? I mean, you're fucking running through the parking lot of a Wendy's, and you're like, I'm about to die in a Wendy's? They burned it down. He was hammered in the drive-thru, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. And the drive-thru lady called the police and said, there is a guy asleep blocking the drive-thru because he was drunk. Yes, he was. Was yes. waiting in line. Yeah. And passed out. Yep. Pretty, yeah, not the best thing to do. But. Driving under the influence. Right. The, uh, the car, the motor vehicle was operating when the cops showed up. Mm -hmm. He's too drunk to stay awake. They pull him out. For 30 minutes, they chit-chat with him. Yeah. He asks if they can. he can walk home. Yeah. They're like, no. Mm -hmm. You're drunk. You were driving intoxicated. We're going to arrest you. Madness ensues. Breaking free. Grabbing taser guns. Fighting cops. Running away, looking back and firing at the cop with the taser gun. Yeah. Dead. That's pretty much what happened, correct? Yeah. The cop today was charged with felony murder. I believe 10 other felonies. And he could potentially get 25 years in jail or the death penalty. Who on earth would ever want to be a cop after this? Speak your piece. I don't, I mean, there's nothing in the world that, that, uh, justifies this act for sure in my opinion but yeah that's a it's hard i mean you gotta i want to think yo you gotta aim don't aim for his fu don't use deadly well first of all i got answers for all this shit i'm just putting you on the spot first of all when a cop pulls his gun yeah you are trained to kill if you shoot your weapon yeah you're trained to that that's the final act if if you're a cop right wow so if you pull the gun and you use it, you're trying to kill that person. You're not trying to shoot him in the foot or fucking shoot him in the leg. Okay. You're, that you're trained to shoot to kill. Was it deadly force? Is what it would be categorized as, right? Well, you're just trained to kill the guy. If you're pulling your gun and you shoot that person, you're not trying to make them stop. You're trying to end their life. Yeah, he never. Didn't That's how they train cops with guns. Okay. We can argue whether that is. By the way, it's a lot easier to hit you in the center of the chest. Than yeah. to try to hit you in your ankle. <laughs> That's why I don't want to. I would never even fuck with someone doing it. So this guy has been charged with felony murder and could go to jail for 25 years. This, the guy was charged within three days of the crime. Uh -huh. Typically in a felony murder, you want to make sure you've got all the shit, your ducks in a row because you want a conviction. Again, and I'm just talking real. That cop, based on everything I saw, should not be looking at life in prison. Right. Period. Now, hold on. Life ain't fair. And black people, for the better part of 75 years, clearly for 150, but in the 75 years since the Civil Rights Act and the right to vote, even though they've been terrorized by cops, over the last 50 to 60 years, mercilessly. And if you think about all of the fucking murders and crimes that have gone on before we had camera phones and all of the black men that have unnecessarily lost their life to a brutal blue dictatorship in their neighborhoods and their communities across the country, I'm just fine with it being unfair. I'm just fine with this cop going to jail for the next 25 years. Is it fair? No. But that's just what it's going to be. So we've got black people being treated unfairly. 20 million. White cop, three. 
fine with it. You got to go away, dude. And you're going to go do your 25 years because these people aren't going to fuck. But this is, and it's also the thing that's great about it is that now we're getting real change and reform. It's all over the Senate. They're arguing about which bill to pass. We've seen systemic change happening in police departments across the country. The only reason that goes down is because of all of us, we the people, period, the <laughs> protesting, the perseverance, the uh, one plus one plus one plus one nature of how we exist in democracy. When a cop looks at this example and they see that, holy shit, I can go to jail for the rest of my life, yeah. and there's now real consequences to me and my behavior as a cop, cops are going to be less likely to pull their gun and use it with deadly force. They will come up with any other imaginable remedy to try to solve the situation other than killing black men and that is a good thing for the progress of America. So, Officer Ralph, or whatever your name is. Garrett Rolf. You're going to go to jail for the rest of your life, and you don't deserve it, and I don't care, yeah. because you going to jail for the rest of your life is going to help millions of blacks and browns across the country potentially not be shot and killed because cops everywhere now are going to look at this and go, I should really, really, really check myself before I use my gun. Because ultimately, that's the biggest problem with cops in America today is that there are no consequences for you being a prick on the job. There's police unions, and the police unions have worked out all of these resolutions so that it's basically impossible to prosecute a cop. It's basically impossible for there to be any consequences for a cop. And now, on a national level, we see that there are real consequences for cops, and that is going to change the way that they police people of color forever. Are, are you familiar with the constitutional statement or this constitutional amendment on police officer deadly force? Because that, Give it to me. Though that's a huge part of this. So... Federal and state law defines general... This is from the LAPD uh, Use of Force Executive Summary 2019. Uh, federal and state law defines general use of force policy standards and practices for all law enforcement agencies. Um, and the amendment goes as, as, as follows. Sorry, one sec. It, it, is, it says... Um, where is, where is it? Oh, I'm You're so done. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Here's the deal. That guy's going to go to jail for 25 years, and it's not fair. That dude does not deserve to go to jail for 25 years for that. And guess what? There are thousands and thousands of black people and brown people that have been killed by cops, and it wasn't fair. And so that's what it is, man. That's what it is. And if, if you don't like it, then you shouldn't have pulled out your fucking gun. And when you shot him, you shouldn't have said to your partner, I got him. And then when you walked up to him and you used your foot to move him to see if he was dead or not, that represented to me your objectivity of that human life because of his color and you treating him like an animal. And so you have made the bed in which you will now sleep. This is coming on the heels of George Floyd and the intense scrutiny of the cops in America. Every single day, your fucking police chief should have said, don't pull your gun ever. Unless there's a gun pointed, you should not have tried to do anything other than shoot the guy. These are all things that you will have to take a look at, Sir Officer Rolf, when you're in jail for the next 20 years. And ultimately, when you're at the prison library and you're headed to the shower to get fucked in the ass 13 different ways from Sunday, and that's called Tuesday, when you're in your jail cell and you're reading, I only hope that you can get to a place where you're able to take it, you look at your part in what happened and realize that without your behavior and your actions, you wouldn't be in jail right now being raped. And when you get to your part in it and your responsibility in it, you will then be able to have 
a very happy and peaceful and accepting life in prison forever. Get to your part in it. Realize that there are thousands of black men across America that have been fucked over. And now you know how they feel. And that's the end of that story. Yeah, I don't think he gets convicted. It's it's too wide open. And and then but the shitty job. But here's the problem with that. We cannot now get into situations where we're filing charges against cops and them getting off because it will cause widespread rioting. Yeah. By the way, appropriately. Yeah. And so that guy, though, that DA in Atlanta is not tr- charging that guy unless he knows he can get a conviction. I would hope. And if the George Floyd gets off, the whole fucking world's going to melt down. America is going to burn. If George Floyd gets if, off. If the uh, Chauvin guy gets off for that, yeah. the whole country burns to the ground. And people die if that happens. You were too young for Rodney King. You're right. Did you see the video? I'm familiar with it. Uh, 92 riots in Watts. Have you ever seen the video of the beating? Yeah, it's it's terrible. There are seven white cops in Simi Valley beating him to a pulp. Yeah. And they got off. And the streets reacted. And we the people reacted. That in itself is... Well, this doesn't make up for that. This fucking guy going to jail for 20 years isn't going to make up for that. And that happened, by the way, ad infinitum, all the time that happened to fucking black guys. All the time. Blacks were beat like that. Mm -hmm. And that's in 1992. That's not 1972. And if some fucking dude hadn't been filming him, fucking his chick in an apartment with his bad VHS and put it out there when he heard a noise, we would never have known that. Rodney King just would have had his skull busted open like probably 40,000 other black guys that year, and no one would have known nothing. But this guy's, you know, hey, you can suck my dick, honey, with his fucking bad VHS, and he hears a thing, and he, because that's all, you know, that's the only reason why anybody had a camera in 92 to shoot your kid's birthday and to make your fucking girlfriend do weird shit. That was the only reason you had one of those cameras in 92. But then you point it over, and you've got this beating, and the next thing you know, you're like, oh my God, this is what's happening to black men in America every single day, but no one sees it because no one's got a porn camera going at the moment in 3 a.m. And so when this guy goes to jail, and he will, it doesn't make up for it. But I want America to understand white America, white privileged America, looking at this going, it's not fair. It's not fair that he's going to jail. Well, guess what? Guess what? Your white privileged ass will get a wonderful lesson, and it's not fair.